What is this thing? An oxygen plant. Well, if this isn't good luck. For a minute there, I was almost worried about dropping down in the middle of the ocean. So the atmosphere here is oxygen deficient. I guess we have to keep our mask on then, huh? It's about 0.04% across Mars. And here, it's probably like 30% and almost breathable. What? You mean we could probably breathe without our helmets? Well, when you compare it to Earth's atmospheric composition... <laughs> no, well! Hey, I said almost! Get her helmet back on! What are you, crazy or something? Hey, uh... Now, what do you think you're doing there? Ah, uh -huh. oh, I feel like a human again. Nothing like a hot shower to make you feel good all over. Here I am. I've become a fish. Why aren't there any around? It's just all seaweed here. Maybe they are hiding. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, and it's nice to finally have some real food for a change. No rations. I never ever want to eat emergency rations ever again. Hey, no. Oh. I mean, hey, Mary, stop being a pig. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's all right. We don't mind if you guys make yourselves at home with us while you're here with us. We're so cut off from the world that company's a pleasure. Yeah, we don't get many visitors out here. Sorry to hear you were shipwrecked. What the? That alarm buzzer almost never goes off. Well, I guess we're having lots of visitors today, huh, Joey? Probably the nuts. That wacko protest group that comes around here. You know, wanting to restore Mars to its natural environment. <laughs> so, do those guys give you much trouble way out here? Sounds like dangerous work. <laughs> Don't worry. They're a pacifist group. Our man Wilson is more than enough to work things out. Hey, do you guys know the story of John Carter? <laughs> oh! Dirty? Yeah, I know that story. John Carter on Mars, right? That was a story written two centuries ago about a man from Earth who had adventures on Mars. I remember that. It had all these made-up words. Like Karu was a greeting, and Saku meant jump. They loved that one because Earth people could jump really high. Boy, you guys really read that stuff a lot, didn't you? Well, it's always been a dream of mine to make Mars a planet teeming with life. To be just like how it's portrayed in the story. So, you remember what happens to Carter? He marries a Mars princess and becomes the leader of the Mars army. Hey, that makes Mama a princess. What? Did you just say Mary? Wish you could meet Wilson. He's always so busy, but really a great guy. He's just come on recently, but he's really done us good. We're fortunate to have his leadership. That was excellent work, gentlemen. You guys were right on time. The others are seaweed food now. <laughs> Be right back. Hey, wait up. Do you mind if a guy takes a dump? Uh, uh. It's the last door on the left. No manners. It's no wonder the princess ran out on the captain. There are many chances to show true fatherliness. Not just when dealing with one's children, but in caring for the world at large, fathers are models for everyone. <sighs> huh? Something's wrong. I know that sound too well. You had all better cooperate or you'll get the same. W what have you done to Morris there? Well, so much for the pacifist faction. These guys are dead serious. I didn't hear anything except for the residents, but I know there's a girl. I'm thinking there might be others. Why don't you take a look around? You got it. Right. LEV team, we have taken control now. Are you ready for your orders? We'll arrive shortly at the supply line. As soon as we're set up, we'll deliver our demand. Hurry! Roger! 
Up ahead, the sea water intake entrance. Hey, why don't you wake up over there? Are there any fish here? Hmm? Did you say something? No. You, you didn't hear a voice? No, I didn't hear anything. Do you know where the fish are? <clears throat> What's out there? There must be some underwater interference. Ah! Dude, you have something stuck on your LED! Huh? What the hell is that? Where's the fish? Ah! Didn't your mother teach you to look both ways? A propulsion bullet tracer. Lock it on the target and there's no way you can miss. Fancy equipment for wannabe terrorists. Well, that's all right, I'll take it. But I think you guys must have army connections. Dollface, you read me? Come in, doll. She must be out of radio range. Well, that's the brakes. I'll have to wing this one on my own. It's a photon laser fitted for combat use. It'll slice a person's inner to pieces. You guys can take over all the plant biospheres you want, but Mars will never return to its original state. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> oh, stop it! We're not resisting here! I warned you not to smart off at me, you punk. What's up? Did you find something? Huh? Uh. Yo. Hey, look, it's Dad. What do you mean, Dad? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, Jim, Dad, Dad, Jim. Let's tie up that one, and we'll lock the door. Jim, we have to do something. Oh. Looks like you took a pretty bad beating there. So what are we gonna do now, Jim? Hmm? I'm making a plan even now. You can't go out! I've got plenty of experience fighting their kind. We have a few emergency weapons around, just in case. Then get them and keep yourself hidden. We're coming with you to help! No way. These are serious guys and they mean business. Mm. I don't want any amateurs coming with me. I'm a trained soldier and you'll only get hurt. Mm. Hey, you. Yes? Is there a place where you can watch over the entire plant? Watch over? We have a control room to oversee operations. Your terrorist is there, then, and I'm going after him. But, but, but Wilson was in the control room. I wonder. All of you stay in here and barricade the door. Oh, no, Wilson. George, answer me. Why have we lost contact? Shut up! George won't be answering your call. What? You can call yourself an environmental normalist or whatever, but I doubt your fuzzy philosophy will hold up to any real scrutiny, you self-righteous wacko. I'm on my way to get you, you murdering punk. Who is this? Identify. Identify? Let's see. I'm John Carter. I'm your worst nightmare, and I'm coming for you, punk. <laughs> that should be enough to take the heat off the others and get them coming after me. All right, you two. Frankie and Oscar, take out that irregular calling himself John Carter. Nobody's going to stand in my way. Nobody. I'm going to pocket the profits and get off this craggy rock once and for all. Hmm. Here's a good chance to exercise some fatherly guidance. Well, of a sort, I guess. It certainly beats changing diapers.
was it that you said about that weird voice before? Knock it off! Quit fooling around and get rid of that thing! Like I'm just gonna waltz off the elevator. Too many freaking floors. This is a pain. Even with the density difference, I'm getting old. They got a bubble on me now. Looks like this could be the last hurrah. Ugh. We gotta make our demands to Camiria's Ministry of Home Affairs. I know that. But I can't do anything when the LEV team hasn't checked in to report the status of the electrical and oxygen lines. And the Irregulars haven't been taken care of. I am surrounded by incompetence, and nothing's gone as planned! Well, this is very strange. Oh, honestly! Urgh, there's just no breaking the thing! Why won't you tell me about the fishes? Oh, this is very annoying! What are you? Oh, it's an LED! You are very rude! That's a battle model! Cause and I'm going down. Huh? A sensor. Take this. We haven't been beat just yet. If you weren't so incompetent, leaving so many holes, you let the fox escape. Now go flush him out! You go and join them! No. Wait a minute. Prepare the plane for an emergency takeoff in case it's necessary. Huh? I I'll see to it. I've never been in a fight. Not one like this, anyway. Well, let's go! It's not like we can't do something. We're not helpless here. Dad said we weren't to leave the room. Morris was my friend, and now he's dead because of them. I can't just do nothing. There's no running from this. Who knows what might happen to us? I was told not to leave the ocean by myself, but now I don't know what to do. Where's Sir Uncle? What a mess. This way, we surround him. These guys are swimming like flies out there. It's just little old me against all of you. Sucks. I'm completely surrounded now. <sighs> Dear Rachel, I know I was a lousy husband. I just want you to know I want to say some things I never said. <sighs> no, wait. Not yet! Huh? Huh? 
The release of oxygen has increased the pressure outside. Damn, that thing's built well. You're not going to die, but you will have a serious migraine. Huh? Hey. Who are you? My name's Johnson. So tell me where you've been all this time. Uh, yeah. Something happened right as I got to the control room. So I've been out this whole time. Otherwise, I'd have never gotten away. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? That you escaped. Do you have any idea who I am? Uh, Mr. John Carter? Uh, of course. I mean, that's what Joey told me. Is that right? But why would he tell you something like that, huh? huh? That's the name I gave to the man leading the terrorist. But somehow you know. <laughs> right. Don't you move a muscle, smart Wilson! Guy. I'm glad you're okay! We were really worried for a minute. You knocked out those people and put emergency masks on them, Dad? Joey! Hey, Jim, thanks a lot. Uh. Ah! Huh? Uh, Daddy! Don't anybody move, or I'll blast her head right off! It's him. Hey, Wilson! Ease up. These guys aren't the terrorist intruders. Joey, would you wake up already? This guy's running the whole operation. Uh, please tell them it isn't true. Wilson? Well, looky here. Karu. What are you doing, old man? Pleading for your miserable life? I guess you're not familiar with the series. Noel? Suck! You did real good, Noel. Man, that guy doesn't give up easily, does he? Damn it! We're done for here! Let's get the hell out! Huh? Right! Don't be! I've been waiting for you, say uncle! We'll talk later! Follow that man! It's up to you now, doll! Got it! What? Something is following us! It's their LEV. That thing's got speed like nothing I've seen before! But it's an LEV! I don't care, just step on it! Ah! You're not getting away, punk! This, huh? Not enough training. Uh... Oh no! Huh? But you at least disabled them. Of course. I meant to do it that way. Sir Uncle, you shouldn't tell a lie. Joey! If you abandon this rotten planet, there's still hope. There's nothing here for you. Joey, don't be a moron. Mars isn't a rotten planet. This is still just a young planet, Wilson. It's only got some growing pains, is all. Ha! <laughs> just because you're bitter doesn't give you the right to step on anybody else's dream, let alone threaten their lives. What do I care if you send me to prison? That's no worse than being stuck here on Mars. <laughs> I know it must be bad here, but that's a bit extreme, don't you think? You saved our skins. If you guys hadn't come along, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks for everything. We appreciate the supplies and your hospitality, but we better be going. Uh, so hey, I want to ask you something. Hmm? You people aren't really ocean surveyors, are you? Some things you're better off not knowing. Huh. The government agencies will handle the rest. Good luck! 
Thanks. But hey, wait! Wait a minute! Where are you going? You said shores that way, right? Uh... Yeah, you can't miss it. Keep a course heading in that direction. Good luck! I'm sure you'll make it there all right! Thank you, sir! Thanks for everything. Thanks!